Anyway, moving on. Angela, a very interesting piece has been published this week in The Telegraph <laughs> with comments from various PR experts about how Harry and Meghan can improve their public image. There were some really interesting and definite takeaways here. Oh, there was. And actually, I've had this conversation with my, myself with PR friends. We've sat down and we sort of brainstormed, how do you solve a problem like Megan? I mean, the fact is she needs to improve her PR, particularly in the UK. Now, this piece had some great ideas. That it, it suggested that, you know, there was no one that needs a greater rebranding than Megan other than uh, Prince Andrew. Uh, that was one suggestion from a PR. I liked the one that said, be less American. Uh, how she does that, I don't quite know. The other one said, uh, find the self-deprecation switch within you and switch it on. Another said, uh, why don't you show us more about who you are rather than telling us who you are? See, these were fairly difficult. Uh, I'm just looking here. Uh, yeah, show us who you are. Be less American. Um, and then also to, to highlight the stories that are genuine, that there's a feeling that Megan doesn't have synthesis in her branding, that she skits from one thing to the other. She goes from, you know, jams to to children's charities, to humanitarian projects, to acting, to presenting, to you know, to walking the red carpet sort of thing. She's not really uh, on, she's not got joined up thinking around her PR strategy, but really hard job. As we know, she did, of course, she and Harry have hired a PR executive in the UK, primarily, I think, to, he's in um, he's in consumer goods products, so he's going to be there, you know, pushing her jams and spruiking that part of her working life. But I really do do not know how you turn around the problem of Megan, particularly in the UK. Bronte will speak to it better than I can because she's now living there. But every friend I have in the UK is anti Megan. Yeah, it does seem to be that way, doesn't it, Bronte? And and I think you know she started out with with so much goodwill and has just totally struggled to capitalise on that. I know, there's so much to say on this topic, so I'm gonna to try to make it concise because I have a lot of thoughts. As Angela <laughs> said, it is very hard to find a Megan fan here. And I really mean that across generations. It is something that seems to be widespread across age brackets, which is interesting. Something like two thirds of the country don't like her, which I find interesting that they now appear to be targeting the British market because honestly, I would have thought they'd just give up at that point. It is a difficult task, power to them if they if they do try to take that on. Uh, but the other part that I find interesting is there's a lot of advice in that article. Something that has been alleged over recent years is that Harry and Meghan do not take PR advice very well. Now, this is alleged, this is something that's been claimed from sources from their camp at certain times. Whether or not that's true, I don't know, but I guess we will eventually find out, you know, with the with this new strategy in place, whether or not it works and whether they take advice. I guess we'll see at this point. <laughs>